Being the current world champions, it, it really hasn't affected how we've approached coming into this tournament. Um, we've spoken a lot about, you know, not coming here to defend it, actually coming here to win it again. And that's really defined how we've approached this tournament in terms of our mentality and how we've gone about our training. And, you know, we're just really excited to, to be here and get out and hopefully show what we're capable of. Emily Scott! Emily Scott! He's going to go all the way! She has been brilliant of all tournaments! It was an unbelievable feeling to be part of the World Cup winning team. It, you know, it's one of those things that you dream about. Um, you know, ever since you start playing rugby, it's the biggest competition in the 15s game, and to kind of become a world champion was, yeah, I don't think you can describe it. I think at the time it was almost a lot of relief because we thought we could do it, we knew we could do it, but to actually go and do it was was a whole kind of different level. So yeah, it was an unbelievable feeling, but you know, we're. we're back on a level par here, we're back to kind of to square one and we're, we're ready to go again. The win in 2014 was, was huge, obviously the impact it had back home in terms of levels of girls and women playing rugby was massive and you know that's awesome to see, it's definitely one of the reasons that we all, we all play the sport is to, to get other people involved in it. Having loads of experience of, of players, having played, you know, one, two, three, some four World Cups, um, is is awesome for the squad. You know, we can draw on so many different people's experiences. You know, lots of challenges that we've overcome in the past, or you know, just actually sometimes the exuberance and um, energy that the youth bring. Perhaps they've never played a, in a World Cup before. So you know, you mash that all together, and you've got a really, really kind of excited squad that can hopefully take on any challenge that's put in front of us. The champions are making their mark already. That's Christmas early for Kay Wilson, and England are really on a roll from the word go. It was such a relief to get going, you know, we've been itching to go for weeks now. Um, it was an unbelievable experience, and so glad we got off, got off to a strong start. Having world-class players in your squad makes my life on the wing so much easier. You have players like Katie McLean, you know, kicking cross-field kicks, which make me look great, is so exciting. We've got some real hard games coming up and everyone needs to be on the top of their game and doing what they bring to the team well. Obviously for me it's finishing and I just want to keep doing that and hopefully against Italy then I'll get that opportunity again. Emily Scarrett is in the building. Try time for England's super sub. Awesome to be back on the field and you know World Cup to special special places so to get out there have a little you know run around and kind of get this thing kicked off was, was really good for us. This World Cup is going to be unbelievably competitive. I think we've seen it definitely on match day one. The games and the, the contests, the contacts, all of that really, really have shown you know, how much each team has, has come on over the years. And you know, it's going to go from strength to strength this competition and you know, really start to, to fire up at come the later stages.